Welcome to the Vast Graphics channel, I am Kelvin and today we are going to talk about 5 different stream deck tricks that you can easily utilize into your stream to maximize your stream deck. When I first got my stream deck, I wondered to myself, is this product really worth it? I assumed that all the stream deck did was help with scene transitions and opening applications but trust me, the next 5 tricks I'm about to show you will change the way you use your stream deck and also maybe change the minds of those of you who are still wondering whether you should get one. Have you ever realized how sometimes when you're watching a stream and the streamer is in a discord call with his team, he checks the chat every once in a while and when he wants to talk to chat, he has to mute his microphone on discord and he unmutes it every time he hops back into the game. Oh, this weapon is a triple take. Like, you're watching a stream and it confuses the heck out of you because you hear the Discord notifications and you don't know whether it was your Discord or the streamer's Discord. I personally find that really confusing and really annoying. So, how do you integrate Discord into Stream Deck? First, you will need a Discord plugin for Stream Deck. I'll put the links in the description below. Um, that brings you to this GitHub page and you can install by clicking on this link. Double click it to install. Jack will ask me if I want to install it, I'll click install. I already have it installed so once you have it up, under custom there will be this two buttons called toggle discord mute. You drag it over. Now you have to find the app ID and the app secret. Go to discord.com under developers Go to developer portal, we'll create a new application and we'll call this stream deck. Then we'll go to OAuth2 tab, we'll go under add redirect and we'll copy paste the correct localhost link. I'll put it in the description below. Copy and paste and we'll select it under redirect URL, save changes. Then under general information, we'll copy the client ID, copy the client secret, paste it. We authenticate. It will ask us to authorize on Discord once. We'll wait for it to connect. Okay, and we click authorize again. Again, okay, and once we click now, when we click on the Discord mute button on my stream deck, we'll actually mute my Discord. Back in the deaf one. Change accordingly. Perfect. So now, if we want to remove the notification sounds on our Discord, we just go under Discord settings. Scroll down to deafen and undeafen and we can remove the mute and unmute the sounds as well so now that we have a visual of whether we are deafened or muted we don't we do not need the sound notifications and this actually improves our stream on to trick number two this is a pretty simple one and it not only saves you time but it also saves you button space on your stream deck Especially if you do not have a big 32 button stream deck like mine, as you see here on my screen, I have only 15 buttons. Um, I have this issue where I have so many sources on my stream, but I realize that I do not have enough space on my stream deck to place every single one of them. So for example, if I wanted to swap in between my game capture and my main display capture, all I have to do is click my one button and it just swaps in between the two sources like this. So here's how you do it. So under Stream Deck, the application, we want to search Mount Action Switch, drag it over, and we want to put a source in. So appropriate streaming software you're using. I'm using OBS. I'll implement my source. I'll name this Apex Legends Activate, and I'll search for the correct scene and source. I'll add another source in main display deactivate and we'll put this to deactivate 
search for the appropriate scene and source. This first la layer of the switch will activate my Apex Legends and deactivate my main display. So we want to copy this and paste. Copy the second one as well. So this one will be now reversed. So I want this to be Apex Legends deactivate. Main display activate. Drag it on top. The reason why we want the activate layer to be on top is so that there's no awkward disappearing of scenes and sources when you're clicking the button. So the next source always appears first before the first one disappears. So now if we test out the button here, and it works perfectly. That's trick number two. Okay, on to trick number three. Um, this one's not really a trick, more of a tip, but it still helps me a lot. So if you guys didn't already know, there is a Spotify plugin on Stream Deck. If you go under the bottom right here, more actions, there's actually, you can search for Spotify and you can actually install this Spotify integration software. I already have it installed. It's by this guy called Bar Raider. And it actually allows you to have volume control of Spotify, go to the next or previous song, change the repeat mode, and etc. It's really simple to use. All you have to do is just, for example, you just drag and drop here, play pause. You just have to link your account. go and follow the instructions accordingly and once you set it up and you in log into your Spotify it will allow you to just play pause everything just by using the stream deck you do not have to alt tap just to pause your music or lower down your volume especially when you're in game you have no time to alt tap you just want to lower down the volume with your Spotify this really helps a lot so trick number four this trick is more for the content creators that are watching this so any of you, are, if any of you are using Adobe software, you might know that software such as Adobe After Effects allows you to customize your cock keys to do different things in Adobe. I for one love having the ease of pressing one button to do things such as saving your current frame as a file, which saves me tons of time instead of having to always remember to press Ctrl Alt S every time I want to save a frame. This allows me to quickly render the frame I want and send it to my client so I can get feedback ASAP on what needs to be changed. So to see what hotkeys we have, we just go into Adobe, go to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and we can see every single hotkey that Adobe After Effects has. Find the appropriate hotkey that we want to use, preferably the more difficult ones. And we go into Stream Deck, Go to this profile one here. Hotkey. Pull it over here. And we just assign, just click on the hotkey. And we just right use our keyboard, right control alt s. So for example, if I open up a new composition here, okay. Create a new solid. Create a new we create a shape here. For example, we want to save this as a frame. All we have to do is just click on this button here. And you immediately bring us to the render queue with a file. Just set our settings. You can even change it to JPEG. Just render it out. Everything will be in your file. Simple as that one single button. Not to mention that this also works for any other software that you use that have hotkeys. It could be GIMP, anything, anything at all. So there are endless possibilities with this hotkey function. Also guys, if you want all the icons that you see me using on my stream deck, some of which I have customized myself, everything will be in the description below. I will link a file that you guys can just download for free, every single thing that you see here. So for my last trick, it is actually a bunch of small tips that you guys can actually use that has also helped me in my daily use of the stream deck. So for the first example, it's gonna be opening up the snipping application, uh, from Windows that allows me to just snip an image out, crop an image out really quickly without me having to search for the app every single time. All we have to do is just search open on Stream Deck and we drag it over. Now I have to search for the file. Open file location. 
copy the file location click on the three dots here to paste it so every time we open the snipping tool we just click on new we can crop out anything we want and we just file save as as simple as that next small little tip i have is actually your application which is a third party application i'm using um in links in the description below it brings you to this page it's called mute current application um, it's an app that you can download just click on this save it so every time you open this app so once you open it up it will just go into your dock the way this application works is every time you press your f1 key it allows you to mute the current application you're on so a good example of when i used this was way back in uh when i first played play unknown's battlegrounds where the plane noises were really really loud or the vehicle noises were really really loud and i could not hear what my friends were saying in discord so i had this really simple application that allowed me to press a simple key to mute my game because back then the game did not have an in-game mute function so you can actually use this application on anything even a browser or a game that allows you to mute it so just like that finally the last tip that i have is that i want you guys to please 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 try all the functions above that i have shown you there are endless possibilities to the way you can use the stream deck and you guys are all creative individuals i know it if i have missed out anything if you guys have any creative ways that you use your stream deck do feel free to comment down below guys as always links down below to the discord you guys can also catch my twitch stream i stream daily destiny 2 apex legends content and also sometimes creative streams where i create stream transitions and overlays you can ask me all of your streaming questions and i will try my best to answer them until then continue sweating it out streaming gaming and keep working your best and i will see you guys in the next video